you know, every so often there comes along a game that, well, it's just fucking awesome. Even after 25 fucking years, it's still one of the greatest games ever made. It defined side-scrolling shooting games. I'm talking about Contra, of course. Am I going to review that? Well, fuck no, I'm not. I'm going to review one of the millions of games that did a horseshit job of trying to rip off Contra. Next up is Time Slip for the Super Nintendo. Oh, what fresh hell is this? Okay, Time Slip. Where do I start with this steaming pile of octopus shit? Well, the control... Well, like Contra, you can shoot in every direction. Except that unlike Contra, which is smooth, this thing's about as stiff as a dead dog's dick. However, if you think that Contra was difficult, it's easier than stealing candy from a corpse compared to this piece of shit. This game has a life bar that really has no function because your life can get drained in a second and a half. Then the enemies are this endless horde of shit that wants you to kill. However, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. One minute you're fighting ancient Egyptian soldiers, and the next minute you're fighting fucking aliens. I don't know, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. I wish that was the worst problem with this game. Just the stiff dick controls. And an enemy spattering that makes about as much sense as a fucking MC Escher sketch. It's not, though. It's not. Well, let's dive right into what makes this game stink worse than a two-week dead giraffe. Unlike the gun control, the jump control requires you to have the precision of a fucking neurosurgeon. If you jump a microsecond too soon, you won't make it, fall, and most likely die. The difficulty is another problem with this turd covered in plastic. I mean, yes, a game like Contra is difficult, but had some mercy in the first level and then fucked you harder than a Filipino hooker on crack. This game, on the other end, starts out like a German dominatrix and doesn't let up. The first level alone takes 20 fucking minutes to beat, and at times has so many enemies and other shit on the screen, the fucking game slows down. The game does have power-ups, some for your gun and others for special attacks. Well, the gun power-ups, there are four of them. And at level four, yeah, it's a pretty powerful gun. But good luck keeping it, because you die quicker than MC Hammer's career. And each time you, you do, you will lose a power-up. So soon you'll be back down to level one. The bombs and other shit help with regular enemies, but I don't think they do diddly dick against the bosses, but that's what you'd logically save them for. Ah, fuck it. Trust me. I have been playing video games since I've been six. I'm now 30, so I've basically wasted most of my pathetic ass life on this shit. I have never once seen this before. Ever. Not ever. I don't know if this was intentional or the biggest error in the history of video games. If this was an error, I would not be surprised if not one person actually tested this game before it was shipped out. This error is so bad that I have not seen it before, nor have I seen it since. Fucking extra life fucking hurts you. I am dead fucking serious. Once you fill up your life meter, you can't get any extra life. If you do, it'll reset the bar, and essentially, you lost all the extra fucking bars. Are you fucking serious? This has to be the only game on the fucking planet that extra life fucking hurts you. That makes about as much sense as some son of a bitch turning down a four-way with Megan Fox, Katy Perry, and that redhead bitch from Desperate Housewives. Basically, without a game genie, you'll never see the end of the fucking game. Basically, the final guy is this fucking thing, whatever it is, that looks like a fucking diaphragm for King Kong's wife, while three billion bullets later, it'll blow up, and you'll be rewarded with this bitching ending. Great! About as much fun as putting termites in your dick!
Well, that's time slip. And yeah, it's a great big pile of shit. How in the flying fuck could the makers of this game make it so that extra life hurts you? I just can't believe it. It's not enough that you have a horde of enemies, a ton of shit you can't avoid. You've got precision jumps, an insane difficulty level, and on top of all that, top it all off with the fact that extra life helps you one minute and hurts you the next. Whoever programmed this game needs to have their fucking dick cut off with a weed whacker, their nuts grinded off with a cheese grater, molten silver poured in their assholes, their eyes gouged out with a fucking melon baller, then thrown into a cage with three grizzly bears that have been fed nothing but cocaine for a month. In short, this game's a piece of shit.